Hey, what's up guys? Um, just making a video for no apparent reason other than I guess my own enjoyment or I guess sort of like a way of talking to you but like in a mass kind of way where like I say everything at once. Um, I'm about to start getting into this new anime and uh, it's called Tokyo Ghoul and um, I've heard some pretty good things about it and I'm trying not to spoil it. Uh, let's see. Okay, my Facebook's pretty active right now. Uh, nothing too much, just like a few stuffs here and there. Um, about to crack open some Chef Boyer D spaghetti and meatballs, my favorite. Um, forever with these broken glasses that I can never wear out in public. You no, know? like even if I have to watch a movie, I have to like tuck it behind like the 3D glasses and everything. Um, so far, uh. Well, my dad's gonna like go with me to like get a new pair soon, so we're gonna go visit the eye doctor whenever I can stop running around. <laughs> um, <clears throat> if I sound a little uh, raspy, it's because I went karaoke singing like three days ago, and I sung surprisingly well. Like I thought I was gonna like mess up bad and flop and be horrible, but no. Nah. It was pretty good. Um, I was really great, actually. I mean, like, I'm not being cocky. I'm just, like, legit. Like, if I sounded like shit, I'd be like, dude, I sounded like shit. Um, I totally sounded like shit, like, when I tried to sing, like, Avril Lavigne, though. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, uh, my voice is not Avril Lavigne's voice. <laughs> but, um, eventually, after, like, a few warm-ups, I guess, like, through going through songs, it, it really went there. Um, I took a whole bunch of pictures, and I have pictures even, like, on my camera, on my phone, on my laptop, um, spanning from when I first went, uh, to Long Island, and, uh, we went to go visit my friend, um, Violetta, and, our, I'm not sure if it's, like, Violetta or Violetta, I think it's Violetta, yeah, she's, she's Italian, she's, like, a beautiful girl. I like my default with her, she's, like, a model and everything, and she was like, oh, you got potential, you can do this, and I'm just like... Let me, you know, take about like 50 laps around the pool and then we can get back to this. And then she was like, no, you can still do it now. And I'm just like, oh my god, all this doubt. But like, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to get my confidence up. So, I mean, like I'm pretty uh, laid back. I mean, I'm not really that all that laid back. But okay, I'm not laid back. I'm chill. I'm very chill. So I guess that sort of describes me. Um... <clears throat> So my voice is healing up. I got a ton of pictures from like around a week ago, about a week ago. <laughs> but yeah, um, my dork side just totally showed right there. Um, other than the fact that I have a series of embarrassing moments every few seconds, I think I'm doing pretty great. And uh, I have like videos and um, pictures spanning way back since like my visit to Long Island with my friend there and. Um, and then again, like, when I went to go, uh, visit my friend Monica, she introduced me to one of her friends, Daniel, and, um, they were pretty great friends, and after that he introduced me to their friends, like, Sophie and, like, Gio, and it's like, oh my god, I'm meeting all these people, and it's, like, really exciting, you know, like, getting out of my bubble and everything, like, my safety zone, so I guess that was, like, pretty awesome, like, you know, everything going on. Um, well, I guess I can take off that and everything, uh, so... That carotene treatment, um, I didn't really like flat out my hair so it's like straight but it's like a little poofy. She told me not to put like any oils in it like the first day but I just want to make sure so given the second day I'm not gonna like put any oils in it but like tomorrow I am so I'm gonna put like a little bit of shine and hopefully that'll like you know make all of my hairs like kind of stick together and just like go pew because like it's really, like, thin, but, like, I don't know. It's just, like, I have a lot of really tiny, thin hairs, and they all make up this, like, huge mane. So, um, me after, could just, um, I mean, like, it all goes back pretty well, so. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It feels, like, incredibly silky, though. But, yeah, this, it cost three hundred and seventy dollars for me to have my hair like the carotene treatment seriously like I'm I, I can't even remember the last time I spent like what prom like seriously that was like 
one of the only times I ever like really like had that much money to like spend on my hair. It's like holy shit. But like, um, I'm gonna take like good care of it. It's supposed to last like four to six months. I'm not supposed to like shave with like sulfurid stuff. But um, I was hoping that this video vlog vlog <laughs> would um definitely help update whatever it is that you know i was supposed to update i was gonna like type a whole bunch of crap too <laughs> to like go along with the pictures and like talk about my journey and how i felt and like what was going on there but um i guess so far so good so sometimes i like to wear hats for no reason please don't try to understand me It'll hurt your brain. <laughs> um, so far, uh, so good. So far, so good. Uh, trying not to think about uh, just negative stuff that really just shouldn't like be all around in my life anymore. And um, yeah. I weighed myself and I'm 155 pounds. So, yay me! And my tag pictures, are, I look like fat as fuck though, I'm not gonna lie, I look fat as fuck. Like, they're from all the wrong angles. It's like they didn't even care about me. But not to fear, I have a random bruise from a bracelet on my hand. I have um, actual, you know, like pictures of me, like in the mirror. Like, I even like shot one of, like, you know near my face so like you can see proportion wise what's going on there um i guess that helps uh so far like i either stay away from like the fatty foods and only reach for like the organic foods like the fresher foods or um i'll have like t moments in time where like i spot and like i eat like burgers and shit but like i won't like binge eat and if i if i do binge eat then like the next day i feel really bad about it and like my stomach's all closed up so i don't make like eat much the next day anyway um, so yeah, it's been okay. Can't complain. Uh, I'm thinking about making a trip up to the Bronx soon to my storage unit. So that way I can go look at my stuff because as of around three or four years ago, since me and my mom moved from Parkchester, like my entire life, like all of my things have been packed in storage and like everything that I've been wearing now I've literally like had to buy back so I've had to buy back entire wardrobes like I mean like seriously like I live like back and forth between my mom and my dad and like my mom lives at my grandparents house so it's like and like my uncle lives there so it's like my mom's part of the family and then like going like between my dad so like I go back and forth to like create a sense of like normalcy it's really weird it's like growing up with like separated parents with like visiting days or whatever I mean, it's like, it's really crazy, but, um, yeah, that's the story about me. It's like the biggest update, the fastest update I can update with. Uh, didn't have to break my fingers trying to like type that shit like a piano, like, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm going to put my broken, le broke and broken glasses back on and, um, could make myself some shift birdie. So, uh. Later, peeps. Yeah. Keeping it creepy. Stay creepy.